Welcome to the Earn Your Happy Podcast. I'm Lori Harder, founder of The Bliss Project, three-time fitness world champion, fitness expert, and cover model turned self-love junkie, lifestyle entrepreneur, and author. Each week, I'll bring you a guest or a thought that will help you bust through your fears, connect to your soul, and get focused and clear so you can elevate your life, business, and relationships. We don't wait until we're ready for someone to tell us we're good enough. We take what we want and we anoint ourselves. Get ready to earn, own, and unapologetically rock your happiness every single day. Are you with me? Here we go. Welcome back to the Earn Your Happy Podcast, and it is time for another quickie because there is always time to fit in inspiration. doesn't matter how little time you have, right? So John Lennon says, a dream you dream alone is only a dream. A dream you dream together is reality. I love that more than I can tell you because Throughout my journey, that has absolutely been truth and has revealed itself over and over. And when we keep our dreams to ourselves, that's exactly how they stay. They stay dreams. So it's true that we have to shout it from the rooftops. We have to share with people. We have to get people involved in those dreams. And a lot of times what I'm finding is that people forget how to dream or maybe they had dreams in the past and they say well reality sets in and then you realize that you can't have those things or you can't be those things or maybe they were never even allowed to dream maybe we have um, our parents or our teachers put a ceiling on us right we talk about this a lot Um, that maybe we feel confined by the people's thoughts, expectations, realities around us that they've put on us, but maybe they're not ours. Maybe that was the restrictions that they put on them. And one day we decided we had heard it enough that we decided to believe it, right? So what happens when we stop dreaming? Well, we stop having hope. We stop living in hope. And you may notice that you start feeling lethargic, tired, hopeless, despair, all things opposite of dreaming and hope. So, you know, some people don't even want to dream anymore. Some people don't even want to hold hopes anymore because they've been so knocked down uh, because they hold such a high expectation of what's going to happen that they've been so knocked down. Their dreams have been so crushed that they don't even want to go there again for the sheer pain of watching something crumble, of something being destroyed. So how can we dream and have hope and yet not get to that place, right? That we can enjoy living in the dreams and living in the hope and not have something torn away or ripped away from us. And there is a point or there is a sweet spot where you dream and you hope without expectation, right? So you hope for the best, you, there's a quote that says, you hope for the best, you plan for the worst, and you expect nothing. And really, I just love you hope for the best and you expect nothing. How do we do that though? We have such high expectations, right? We have these dreams and we have these hopes. And if we don't get them, then life is going to be over. <laughs> there's nothing worth living for. I have been there. And it wasn't until I had the realization that I... I needed to not only have the hopes and the dreams, but also be really present and be so grateful for for what I have in the moment. And also know that the hopes and the dreams are that ultimate destination that a lot of times, as long as we are taking action to get to them, what's going to happen is sometimes those hopes and dreams can actually take us a completely different route. So let's say we have the hopes and the dreams and that's what our GPS is set on, right? That one thing that we want or those things that we want. And along the way, we run into a ton of construction along the highway to our hopes and dreams and we get rerouted. And as we get rerouted, we realize that we're going through the most beautiful place that we have ever seen. Probably the most beautiful place we've ever seen in our lives, perhaps even more beautiful than the destination that we have entered in our GPS. So instead of saying, nope, 
this is great, but it's not my hopes and dreams. We say, you know what? I'm just going to explore here for a while. I'm going to see what this has to offer me. What lessons does this have to offer? Let me just check out what this place is all about and see how I feel here and see, you know, if there aren't some things that I can pick up along the way to take to my hopes and dreams. And sometimes what we find is that we end up staying there and we end up realizing that our hopes and dreams were not necessarily the things that we were supposed to um, be uh, striving for in the first place. So it's staying open, right? Not being so attached that we don't um, start enjoying the route on the way there. So why, why should we have hopes and dreams? Why should we stay there? Even if, you know, there's still that little tiny voice that's like, what if? That's what hope says. It says, maybe, or it says, what if? It's still that voice that's speaking to you, even though you feel like maybe things are just set in stone and this is your life and you have to work hard and now you have a family so you can't do that. Or, you know, now you have this job so you can't do that. Or now you're used to this pay so you can't take a pay cut. Whatever that thing is, there's still that voice that says, what if? Don't quiet that voice. It doesn't mean that you have to quit something or stop something or you're not able to do something because you have a family now or you're too busy. It means you start exploring the little things and you start even living in hope. Start seeing what that feels like. Start taking that ceiling off and saying, you know what, if this person over here can have a family or they they started out in this job or they started out in a, you know, a, a beginning that was so rough that I can't even believe they climbed their way out. They are setting the tone. They are saying they can and you can, or they did, right? And you will. So, but without the hope and without the dreams and without saying what if and listen to that voice and start taking tiny, tiny actions or start dreaming again, start letting yourself really visualize what that life could be like. You're never going to even break into the possibility of going somewhere bigger that maybe your soul is calling to. Now, if you are happy, fantastic. Stay there. Keep doing what you love. Live in it. Thrive in it. Swim in it, right? But if you're not content and there's something there in your soul, this is for you to just start living in the hope, living in the what if, because hope is progressive. Hope gives you energy. But what's the opposite of hope? Despair. Despair is desperate. It's painful. It's gloomy. Um, Part of the definition of uh, despair is dashed hopes. So hope patience and time can really create some beautiful things. It can remove the ceilings. It can remove those blocks. So you guys today and every day, I want you to really start listening to those curiosities and living in hope because it doesn't mean that if you live in hope, you're going to lose everything or you're going to get completely disappointed. What it does mean is, is it keeps you really open. It keeps you full of energy. It keeps you full of excitement. It keeps you saying, what if, or is this it? Or could this be something I like? Or could this be something I'm curious about? Or maybe I could add this to my life. So whenever your thoughts are choosing a thought, when you really look at what they're choosing, when we're choosing dreams and we're choosing hope, you really do get to live in a piece of that because you're thinking it right. And what we think is our reality, what we think is our perspective. So I would rather live in hope any day of the week and be able to live in a tiny piece of my dreams that way than to cut myself off from everything and live in despair and lack energy and start to move into fear or thinking that that's not for me because the only difference that separates you from the people who are living extreme bliss and going for their dreams, whether they have them or not, is hope. And the second you start hoping and dreaming again and falling in love with the hoping and dreaming process, you get to live a piece of it already. So you guys, I hope that you dream as big as you possibly can today. Take the ceiling off, tear it off, burn it down, whatever you need to do. Think big. What is that? At least have some fun just visualizing today. And then you know what? Try it again tomorrow and the next day and the next day. See what that feels like. Close your eyes. See what it would feel like to be there and just see what paths, what thoughts open up, um, who comes in your path for that particular day. And just be open to all the lessons with zero expectation and have fun with it. All right, you guys, if you love this and you know someone or you know someone that needs to Uh, start dreaming a bit again, start thinking big, please share this episode with them. And I hope that you have the best day. And until then, make sure you earn your happy. Bye guys. 
Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me on the Earn Your Happy podcast. I am so glad that you stopped by. If you could take one second to share this episode with someone you think would love it, that would be absolutely amazing and we would be forever grateful. Also, please leave us a review if you feel so moved by going to iTunes and leaving us an honest thought, an honest comment. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you want to hear more of. It would really help us out on our journey to helping thousands and thousands of people. Until then, don't forget to earn your happy. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye. Hey, thanks for listening to the podcast. And I want to make sure that you have my phone number and I'm not kidding. Did you know that I have a community text number for real? My phone number is 310-496-8363. This goes directly to my phone. All you have to do is text the word daily to 310-496-8363. And I literally text you every single day, Monday through Friday. I actually just got done 30 seconds ago texting a bunch of people back. And I talk to you all of the time. You guys, people always ask me how I got my community text number and how it works. Well, all you have to do is you can just go to community.com and get your own. Community makes it easy to get a phone number that you can use to build your audience using text. People just text you at your number and they're added to your group. Then you can text them out audios, video links, anything you want. You guys, I text out happy birthday videos. I love to send podcast links, thoughts about life, book recommendations, uh, different events that I'm doing in the local area. Texting gets me out of the noise of social media and directly into your hand. And now you can start texting your people too. Just go to community.com to get your phone number. They give you a 10 digit real phone number, not those weird short codes that look like spam, but it's more than a phone number. Your new number comes with an inbox for SMS and texting. This means you can actually manage your text list from your computer and an app on your phone. You can schedule texts to send at certain times and to certain groups. You can even set up auto replies or let your assistant or customer service team answer your text messages via community's awesome dashboard. Just go to community.com and ask for a free demo. They'll show you how it works and get you your number. It's time to start texting your audience versus just posting on social media. Everyone uses community for that. So go check them out at community.com. I can tell you it's not just great for communicating with my audience, but Chris and I use community and our texts to also sell out our launches. I'm telling you, you get such an incredible response because you really are creating a true deep sense of community and it's so intimate. It's freaking amazing. Go check it out at community.com. Hey, do you know what the big secret is this year? And it shouldn't be a secret because this should be your biggest focus. It is building your community. I am always working on building and nurturing my community and everyone is talking about the power of community. Without an online community, you just cannot grow organically or create a real movement, which is what I know that we're all after. And you can build trust or monetize your audience. When you get community right, not only does your audience grow faster, but so do your sales. But where's everybody gonna be managing their communities these days? And a lot of online entrepreneurs and thought leaders are turning to circle.so. Circle is an all-in-one community platform. It lets you host content and create discussions, live streams, group chats, and memberships all under your own brand. And what's so cool about Circle.so is that you don't even need a website or Facebook group. Instead, Circle lets you build your own community site where you can host content and manage your members. You can even create locked and unlocked content spaces, groups, and classes. How freaking cool is that? You can put your content behind a paywall too, and you can charge different amounts of money for different spaces on your community site. Circle.so is famously easy to use, and it has a free 14-day trial for you, so you can go check it out, see if you like it, see if you love all the options. 
just go to circle.so. Go check it out right now, you guys. Imagine being able to manage your community, start group chats and live classes and accept payments all in one place. Kind of mind blowing since this is usually spread all over the place. You have to log into so many different things. If this is the year to capture, organize, and monetize your community, head over to circle.so. You can get a free trial and start building your online community right now. Just go to circle.so. You guys, you get the 14 day free trial. So just go and see if it's for you. It's gonna streamline everything and make your life so much easier. It's so freaking cool. Hey all, I'm so excited to share with you, Earn Your Happy is now part of Growth Day Podcast Network. A bunch of us are coming together to bring more growth to the world and support shows and brands that we truly believe in. And one of my friends is also on the network and I'd love for you to go subscribe to his show. You guys, Trent Shelton has the most incredible podcast. It's called Straight Up with Trent Shelton. And it's going to remind you that you are built for this. I have heard Trent speak in person multiple times. I've listened to his podcast a ton. He's coming on the show and I literally cannot wait because this man just spits straight fire. It is like truth that goes to your core and makes you take action right away. If you want one of those podcasts that when you're just out on a walk, you can't help but want to start running and run through a wall in your life, this is the show to go listen to. So you guys make sure that you go subscribe to the show straight up with Trent Shelton. You're going to love it.